is Public Works update on local street projects. Mr. Nelson. Good evening. Last year in January, I was giving the city manager uh, an update, uh, Brad Robbins, about what to anticipate in 2015 uh, about construction throughout the city. And after doing that, he asked me to make a presentation to the city council. And he thought it's going to be a really busy year, and he thought we'd try to convey that. So last year, I made a quick presentation saying these things. Good evening. As we enter 2015, we're definitely going to be in a year of construction. And you can all know that right now with the 91 freeway expansion. And recently, we just did the 91 Main Street squeeze. And that's just beginning what's going to happen in 2015. So I tried to give everybody a heads up. It was going to be a very busy year. In fact, I made a map presentation and showed all the constructions throughout the year, knowing it was going to be a painful year. Well, it kind of was. And I'd like to say it's over, but it's not. And so what I'm going to talk about is a little bit what we did in 2015, but also what to expect for 2016. And actually, some good things are going to happen in 2016. So first of all, last year, we completed our local pavement rehab project. That was about 70 lane miles. It was probably one of the biggest projects we'd ever undertaken. And in 70, that 70 lane miles was a big chunk of uh, East McKinley and South Corona communities. And we also improved 16 bus stop locations that included four new bus shelters. We completed uh, repairs of, of sidewalks and curbs and gutter within the southwest quadrant of the Grand Boulevard Circle and upgraded all the ramps in that circle to meet ADA compliance. We also constructed a Smith Avenue water line replacement. This was a 12-inch ductile iron pipe water line to replace an old 12-inch water line that was deteriorating and breaking too often. And right after we finished that work, we came back in and we rehabbed the entire street pavement. So from the 91 freeway all the way, on, all the way down to Rincon. And then we started work on our stagecoach reclaimed water line. This was about 1.4 miles of a 20-inch ductile iron pipe water line with a new flow meter. This was all the way down Croydon uh, to uh, River Road and then from River Road all the way down to Bluff Streets. We just finished that work uh, about a few months ago. Auto Center grade separation was a two-year product. We wrapped up around October. This was a grade separation product. We built a new bridge to separate an at-grade crossing with the railroad. The Magnolia Avenue median, we placed some in rock cobble in the median to, uh, for aesthetic looks out there. We just finished that recently. Gilbert Avenue street improvements. Uh, this was one of the, uh, sorry to say, one of our worst roads in this city. It was really deteriorated, really bumpy. We rehabbed that entire, re actually reconstructed that entire roadway, and we installed a pedestrian pathway, which would be replaced with sidewalk as developers come in there and do that eventually. Also, one of the worst streets, and this is probably the worst street in the city, was Sheridan Circle. This cul-de-sac was badly deteriorated because of trees out there. So we had the trees removed some time ago. We went out there and had to reconstruct the entire road out there, including the curving gutter, the driveways, and then upgraded all the ramps around that area too. I mentioned last time about uh, our new fleet of buses. We purchased those buses in 2015. We'll be de de deploying those things in January this month for on a new fixed route. We are right now still working on our pavement rehab product, and this is within the Corridon area where we did the water line work. We're going to re resurface that road itself. This will be 41 lane miles when it's all done. And again, this will be uh, some localized repair work that was damaged by a lot of trees out there, and we rehab the entire, all the roads out in that area. We are still working on the Green River widening project. Last time I mentioned uh, the work on the signal we should have been done. We've had some problems with the uh, unknown utilities out there. That's delaying the improvements of the signals themselves, but the product itself is still going to be completed on time, and we'll still work on the medians expected. 